Hey there, I'm Joe Carter. If you've ever popped the hood and thought, where do I even start? You're in good company. Around here, we take the mystery out of car repair, one fix at a time. Whether you're a beginner or just looking to sharpen your skills, there's something here for you. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you're into learning without the headaches. All right, that's enough from me. Let's get into the share it. of electronic components in the design of modern cars is increasing every year. Sensitive sensors and computerized control units monitor the work of more and more units and assemblies. If they malfunction, they inform the driver by means of indicator lights on the dashboard. But drivers themselves do not always know what to do in the event of such a signal. For example, if the airbag light comes on, signaling a malfunction in the passive safety system. In fact, the airbag light illuminates every time the engine is started to ensure that the system is working properly. But then it goes out and no longer bothers the driver until one of the flexible airbag shells, the pretensionous, breaks or deploys. If the SRS airbag light continues to burn after starting the engine, it is a reason to visit a service center whose specialists will be able to determine the nature of the malfunction of the passive safety system and eliminate the problem. Unwanted amateurishness. There are several reasons why the repair and diagnosis of SRS airbag systems, including airbags, is not recommended to do on your own. Diagnostics requires special equipment that connects to the diagnostic socket found in all modern cars. The diagnostic device and its accompanying software cost a lot of money, and its use requires knowledge and experience that most motorists do not have. On some cars it is possible to get access to diagnostic codes without additional equipment. But the algorithm of activation of the self-diagnostic system, as well as the codes themselves, differ depending on the car model and its equipment. When repairing electronic components of the safety system, you should have a reliable wiring diagram of the vehicle, corresponding to its model, year of manufacture and equipment. It is not easy to find such documentation in the public domain, and the available information is often unreliable. Changes made by developers to the design do not allow the fault to be identified. Moreover, actions taken on the basis of erroneous data are a source of serious failures. Even with a reliable wiring diagram in hand and having identified the possible source of the malfunction that caused the airbag light to come on, it can be very difficult to eliminate the breakdown. In order to access the sensors, actuators and their electrical connectors, you need to know where they are located. In the absence of such information on the search will have to spend a lot of time and effort, but never achieve the desired result. Remember that unskilled handling of airbags can result in serious injury when there is no other option. In real life, it can happen that you are miles away from repair shops and a burning airbag light gets on your nerves and quite possibly signals a breakdown that needs to be fixed immediately. An unpleasant surprise, like a sudden deployment of the safety system, can cause an accident. Therefore, it will be useful for many people to know what can be done in such a situation. Principle of the device and possible problems. To begin with, it is necessary to know the principle of operation of the cushions. Briefly consider the device of a typical passive safety system. Impact sensors are located in various places in the vehicle. Their location may vary even between models from the same manufacturer. It only makes sense to outline the area where they can be located. Frontal impact sensors are placed in the front part of the body. They are mounted under the bumper, on the spars, on the wheel arches and even on the front shield near the steering rack. Devices that register lateral impact are located inside the doors or side racks. They are also installed in the rear of the car, under the bumper, in hidden body cavities or on its power components. Devices designed by different manufacturers differ in appearance. It is the failure of the sensors that is the most common reason why the airbag light comes on. The information from the sensors goes to a single control unit, SRS airbag. It is good if the manufacturer has managed to locate the control unit in an accessible place, such as the section where the relays and fuses are located. But such luxury is rare. 
Much more often this important electronic component of airbag control can be found by removing a part of the trim or dismantling the dashboard. However, if there is a need to dial the electrical circuit, you will still have to get to it. The airbags themselves are connected to the control unit of the safety system, the number of which depends on the equipment of the car. In order to increase safety, manufacturers try to increase their number. Frontal airbags are mounted in the steering column and dashboard, side airbags, in the body pillars, under the lining of seats or interior. It is not so difficult to get access to them. However, they fail much less often than sensors, wiring and control unit. The airbag sensor sends a signal to the control unit. The airbag sensor sends a signal to the control unit, which in turn commands one or more components to deploy. The electrical impulse sent by it leads to the activation of capsules with a chemical substance, which almost immediately enters into a chemical reaction, filling the cavities of the bags made of special fabric with gas. Beforehand, you should disconnect the battery by removing the minus terminal and waiting at least 5 minutes. During this time the system should deactivate. It is not permissible to use test lamps for checking, as this may damage electronic components or cause them to trigger spontaneously. Proceed sequentially you should look for breakdowns in stages, paying attention to the most likely places where they occur. The most common reasons for the dashboard warning light to come on include, system failure of the control unit is the next most likely source of problems. Sometimes, with the appropriate equipment, the SRS airbag can be reprogrammed. If this operation does not produce the desired result, the airbag control unit will have to be replaced. Airbag malfunction is not a very common reason for which the alarm can light up. It is strictly not recommended to fix such a failure on your own. Sodium azide, contained in the capsules of devices produced by many manufacturers, is poisonous. Poisoning with it can have the most serious consequences. But even if the capsule contains chemically harmless nitrocellulose, there is a risk of injury due to its activation of the cushion. As a result of careless handling, the easiest way with all of the above in mind, it's best to use a simple recommendation. If your airbag light comes on, get to a repair shop as soon as possible that has everything you need for repair and diagnosis. This is the best way to save your health and nerves, as well as avoid damage to the technique. In conclusion, the airbag light coming on in your vehicle is a crucial warning that should not be ignored. It can indicate a range of issues, from a simple sensor malfunction to more serious problems with the airbag system itself. Regular maintenance and prompt attention to warning lights can ensure your safety on the road. If you find that your airbag light is illuminated, it is advisable to consult a professional mechanic to diagnose and resolve the issue. Remember, staying informed and proactive about your vehicle's safety features is key to a secure driving experience. Thank you for watching, and drive safely.